Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. This video oh, is my first ever attempt at resin marbling. I have to say, I adore the way they turned out. I was so scared and intimidated. And look at this. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it as much as me. There is some talking through the process and there's some music also. I hope you enjoy. So what I am using for these marble trays, I am going to be using my Vuba resin. I'm going to be having a massive batch of the white and then two little whites into which I'm going to pour some brown and some gold, I think, or black and gold. We'll see as it goes. I might try both. So I've never done this before, so you will be right there with me, learning alongside me, and we shall see how it turns out. The trays I'm using are the trays you would have seen in previous videos. They are by Let's Resin. I then went ahead and ordered quite a few handles from Amazon. So I've got a whole batch of golds and I've got a whole batch of silvers. I will be wearing my respirator. I put this on as soon as I open the bottles of resin. I also will make sure I've got my gloves on. So safety first, guys. Respirator, gloves and eye protection as well if you want eye protection. And yeah, let's do it. scary part I have no idea how this is gonna turn out I'm gonna pour white pink black gold etc take it in turns to put each one in to a clean cup and then pour it out but I'm scared I'm scared about the black that went really dark I'm not gonna put too much gold I probably made too much gold anyway <music> Okay, so if you're thinking of doing these trays, this was exactly 500 grams, a little bit more to go in. Anyway, let's put the other handle in and then move on to the other tray. Okay, the second tray. I'm not going to put any gold in. I 
I'm just gonna see. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave the gold out, which is such a shame. I've got a waste of resin, but I will pour it into some Christmas decorations and use it that way. I'm just not so keen. So for the second one, I'm just going to use white, black, grey, now is because I've used the gold, I'm not going to have enough resin to fill the tray, but um, I can always top coat afterwards, pour on an extra layer, bit of pink, black, stir this a bit more a bit more that's enough okay this one I'm gonna go from here down wow wow That is definitely more marbled. I'm loving this here. Gorgeous in the corner and it comes down. Loving. Yeah, I'm really preferring that one a lot. This one, let's see how this is looking after five minutes. It's almost gone. Like I can't explain it. I don't know if it's the gold. I've always been nervous about using gold. Like metallic just responds differently to all other pigments. So this one's gone like a lizard almost. Like a lizard scale. And this one here is the marble I was looking for. With the lines. Oh I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to get the handles in now. And then yeah we'll check these out tomorrow when they're cured we shall see what i've just done with the other one is um use what i've got left of the dark the dark color and pour lines and i quite like the effect so i'm going to show you what i did here i'm going to pour the lines and then blow it with the heat Just um, giving it that marble vein look. I don't know if it's going to stay this way. I don't know what the resin's going to do. I just... Resin. Mind of its own. Um... closer look I've still got my mask on so hopefully you can hear me those lines that I added um I did it to this one and I wasn't feeling this tray but now oh my god I am feeling this tray I feel like it's very Italian marble I'm, I'm acting like I know what Italian marble looks like and feels like but don't you think Italian kind of marble and I thought if I use the leftover of what I've got and put it in this one and do the same thing, just like attack it with the heat gun, just bang in the lines, bang in the lines. Don't want to hold it there too long. Um, yeah, I am loving this one. But I'm so happy with these. This is my very first attempt over the moon. I was scared, I was nervous. But that's definitely marbled, 
definitely marbled without a doubt let me know what you think at this stage we'll come back in the morning well tomorrow evening should i say and uh demold these and see what we're left with i'm so excited okay now this is two days later um it is vuba and i think with the white pigment it does have an extended cure time but i left it a solid two days which is exactly what vuba say on their website 48 hours and i was able to demold it and it is solid solid as a rock so this is a close-up of the all the colors so the brown the gold all the colors that went in together i'm saying close up it's like my phone doesn't want to focus but how gorgeous is this now if you see the top of this can you see the way the top is has gone weird that's because i lifted up the mold i moved the mold and the whole and it wasn't ready it wasn't ready to be moved so that is my fault completely so it had this shrinkage when i picked up the mold it bent right in the middle and i was like ah oh, put it down so don't do that just it's just because look at the state of my craft room i don't have much workspace so I needed this space so let, yesterday when I picked it up um yeah it bent a little bit but that's fine it's solid now but you will see these marks on the top where it kind of creased but look at this pattern guys <gasps> I am impressed so after I finished filming yesterday yeah I came in with the lollipop stick last night dipped it in the dark grey and I literally I'll show you what I did I dipped it in the paint with a tiny bit on the end and I just went like this all the way through the white that had created a skin so it came out really nice and it meant that they're going to stay there now they're not going to go um and the gold is just coming through over here and over there so i'm really loving it what i want to do now though is create some wow i want those gold streaks in the marble i'm going to use one of these gold glues i've got two brands here i've got the stickles and i've got the glitz entirely up to you i mean this is just an option this is just what i'm gonna try i'm gonna try these on this one and then on this one this is the gray one so this is how the gray one turned out again i came back in last night with that lollipop stick extra gray and just dabbed around um i ended up creating these patterns here love them so i'm gonna do exactly the same with this one as well put that to one side for now this one is my favourite so far because I can see that gold and yeah, all the colours. Oh, just love it. Anyway, we're going to try. We're going to try the gold glue and I'm going to stop talking and put the music on. Let's go. I was thinking of using a Posca pen or a permanent um, gold marker. Tried it, didn't like it, and gold paint did not work for me. I, I had a go with a paintbrush, not feeling it. So, probably exactly the same thing. <laughs> Let's go. ready for their top coat so over the past week i have got my respirator on because i've been mixing resin so just to let you know if i sound funny that's why but um yeah i've made a few trays <laughs> i have actually got four here to top coat so i'm going to put the camera onto this one so that you can see that these trays will be available on my etsy which is linked in my 
about section but I'm going to link my Etsy store in the description box below this video these trays will be available from Saturday the 5th of December that's how long I'm going to leave them to make sure they're fully cured before I wrap them up to post hope you can see that can you see that you can and then I'm gonna so I'm gonna pour a chunk into the middle I'm gonna help it work its way out if I can see it going too fast in one direction like it is here I'm gonna bring some away like this bring it away so it doesn't keep flowing um, and then you can just go slowly really really slowly and just push it all bring it away from here because it's flowing ideally you want a flat surface it's not something I've ever achieved in my adult life <music> me the, the shine the shine so I did forget to mention I am using glass cast three on these as a top coat just because I know that that will be cured by tomorrow and that will give them an extra few days to be solid before I put them on Etsy but yeah here is the one with the gold and here is the one that had no gold in it at all let me know which one is your favorite I just I'm not even <laughs> that's the weirdest thing I'm not even a marble girl but these they converted me I have to say I'm converted I'm gonna do a lot more marble stuff I just think the effect is stunning with that subtle gray in the background let me know and we're moving on now to the black and gold tray you would have seen that video the other day I went on and made another one of those look at the look at the reflection the reflection you can literally see my shelves and my gloves hanging out of the wall but yeah absolutely adore trays right now I cannot wait to hear what you guys think but this top coat look at it just go slowly get it to the edges and honestly it shouldn't go over as long as your surface is not completely crazy wonky but this one here is proving to be my most popular tray so far I've already made and sold three this one has got three people after it <laughs> I've told them they have to get on my Etsy quickly on Saturday to grab it. But I am going to go ahead and make a few more of those purple trays. I ordered a ton, a ton of crushed mirror crystals. So I'm going to go straight forward with the purple. But anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed this video of me making marble resin for the very first time. Let me know what you think and what you do if you make marble resin. Yeah. Hand your girl some hints and tips and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye!